G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, we are going to look at the brand new record helper for T-Date Time. And it's new to Delphi 11. This is my first video on uh, using Delphi 11. And we'll throw a button on the form. And we'll declare a T-Date Time variable and we'll assign it. And we've got no uh, no functions on t-date time as yet. What we do need to do is introduce system.dateutils. And we can grab now. Oh, it's x uh, dot two string. And if I run that, we get the current date and time as a string. Or I could instead instead do should we get sixties and we get um, the long date time or long date format and we can also do a bunch of operations month so go three months into the future and take off 55 days or uh, whatever you uh, <laughs> mathematical operations you need to perform on dates and so we can have a look at the record helper for t-date time so this is a record helper for a primitive type t-date time is just a double as far as the um, compiler is concerned and we have lots and lots and lots of functions and method, or methods and properties and all that kind of stuff that we might want to take advantage of. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this new edition. I, I, I prefer this style of notation to, uh, for instead we're going X assigned pink month uh, X minus three or whatever. Um, so I, I think this is a bit cleaner than this, it's, it's marginally shorter, but uh, your your mileage may vary. One thing I did notice is that I thought you know type inferencing would probably work, but it doesn't. Uh, so now I was returning a key date time, and the compiler is interpreting that as a double. So you need to specify the type, which is of course not a problem if. you're doing it the old-fashioned way. Um, I'm starting to quite like the new um, inline variable declaration. It, it makes life a lot easier in a, a great number of ways, and I'll probably do a video on uh, all the ways that I like it. But anyway, um, this is probably all I need to cover for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, do have a look at, um, and there's this pages and pages of functions as you can see, and they're just basically uh, these methods repeated. And in fact, if you, if we look at now, we see that it's just returning now. And likewise with all the uh, various functions. So I hope you found this video useful. I'm Alistair Christie, and I'll catch you in the next video.